Hey guys, I just want to start the video by saying don't mind the haircut. I did some damage last night with my buzzer trying to just trim the sides and I stopped there because I couldn't really see the top of my head enough to trim the rest. That's getting very, very long. I'm definitely due for a haircut and it'll definitely be something I could fix fairly easily. But right now, the sides are trimmed the way I want, but the top is still very, very long and it's more dramatic to see now because my sides are short. But it's not really the point of the video. The main purpose in this video is going to be to talk about the fact that I have gotten back on the bandwagon, uh, or back on the wagon in general. I guess bandwagon isn't really the right term for it, of tracking my calories, which I've definitely talked about in videos before. But overall, my I use an app where I could pretty much put in whatever I'm eating and guesstimate how many calories it is. For example, I had spaghetti and meatballs for dinner. I was able to... You could either A, scan barcodes to see what the calories are and whatever food you're eating, or B, just type in manually what the food is, whether it's a generic name, like I put in pasta, whenever I'm having pasta and I use one that kind of has an average, upper end of the averages for um, how much like a cup of pasta would be. So for example, if you just look at pasta, there's hundreds of results that come up. So I look at like the top 10 and let's say there's one that says a cup is 100 calories, one that says it's 120 calories, one that says it's 90 calories. I'll average that all out roughly and pick one that's near that average or maybe on the upper end of that average. So, yeah, really my goal within the app technically is to be somewhere around 1,600 calories, which is a little light for me. Um, just basically with eating three full meals a day plus a snack at some point. I usually go a little bit over, usually two or 300 calories over, which I'm fine with overall. My realistic goal is to be under 2,000 every single day because that's about how many calories I burn throughout the day just by living. And then any additional movement I do helps that even more. But ideally, I try and keep things under. Ideally, it would be under 1,800 calories would be the absolute ideal, but usually it ends up being closer to 1,900 calories. For example, today, I think I'm... Mm, actually today I might have gone over because I had a slice of pizza with my lunch but the point is just that it's something that I've been doing actually today is my 199th day of tracking calories in a row technically but I go on and off with how heavily I'm tracking things for example the past couple of weeks I was mostly eating whatever I want and then putting in the calories and wherever the numbers fall they fall just to stay in the habit of it and still stay mindful of what I'm doing. For example, there's a lot of times I'll be eating lunch and I see something like a leftover slice of pizza in the fridge and I say, I could easily physically eat that and it's something that needs to get eaten because it's going to get thrown out because it's getting old, that kind of stuff. But then I kind of, the calories are just kind of a reminder to me of how much that actually is worth and whether I'm willing to make that sacrifice. So... Yeah, just something I guess I wanted to bring up again because it's something that I've been doing for a long time, nearly 200 days in a row now. And what kind of spurred me to start it up again is I've been having a lot of ice cream recently because my Dairy Queen locally opened back up and my sister can't help herself. So she goes out usually every other day, every two days, basically two, three days um, and grabs us blizzards because I have no self-control. She's going to go out and get ice cream every way. I need to get something. I at least try and get a mini blizzard, which my sister is about 50-50 on actually getting for me recently, though I kind of mentioned how I prefer the mini blizzard just because calorie-wise, it's a big step down. And as far as quantity of ice cream and all that, I don't think it's... I It's enough for me. Like, the small one is great, sure, but the mini one is enough ice cream for a serving, for sure. It's more than enough, actually, but... In any case, basically be reading a lot of ice cream, I noticed I gained maybe two pounds, two, three, might have even been three pounds depending on the day. My weight fluctuates about five pounds from when I go to bed to when I wake up, basically, because all day I put on weight, drinking and eating, and then at night it kind of all burns off or going to the bathroom in the middle of the night, all that kind of stuff. Burns it all off and I wake up usually five pounds later, give or take. So, yeah. That's it for this video because this is getting way longer than I expected it to. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's episode.